With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that on what conservation of principles, okay, the first and second law of Kirchhoff are based, okay. So basically over here, what we can say is that the first law of Kirchhoff, okay, Kirchhoff's first law is what the incoming, okay, net incoming current, incoming current, in a junction okay in a junction is equal to is equal to the net outgoing current okay net outgoing current of the particular junction only we will talk okay outgoing current so that means what over here let's suppose we are talking about a point okay so let's suppose i1 and i2 we are talking let's suppose i1 is the incoming current i2 is the incoming current and i3 is the outgoing current okay so basically this law states that i1 plus i2 is basically equal to i3 okay this is what uh, what is current basically current is charge per unit time so this is basically dependent on the law of conservation of charge okay conservation okay so conservation of charge okay and when we talk about the second kirchhoff's law okay second law it states that the voltage okay or you can say potential drop okay potential drop potential drop along the components of a loop okay components of a loop must be equal to zero okay is equal to zero understood so what we understand by this is that uh, let's suppose we are taking considering a loop okay so when we take a loop let's suppose we are considering a resistance over here okay a resistance over here and a battery over here this is obviously a loop maybe let's suppose there is a more circuit over here but over here what we consider is that let's suppose this is the whole loop so when we come back to this point okay let's suppose we are taking from this point and we return back to this point by using this law okay this whole potential difference will come out to be zero okay because we are talking about only one point so this is what this is dependent on the conservation conservation of energy okay so basically the first law is dependent on the conservation of charge the second law is dependent on the conservation of energy thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today